Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy National Lipstick Day. Yesterday, I'm a day late, sorry about that. I would be absolutely lying out of my teeth if I did not tell you that I am obsessed with lipstick. We have pictures of me when I was like three years old and I'm covered in red lipstick. I used to call it lipits. <laughs> and I just have lipstick like all on my lips, all around my lips. I would sneak into my mom's bathroom and try on all her lipsticks. It's safe to say I have been obsessed with lipstick for like over two decades now. I absolutely love it. I actually got this idea from one of my best friends, Courtney, and her boyfriend, Zach. So shout out to them for looking out and giving me a great video idea. So today I figured I would just kind of talk to you all about my favorite lip products. I don't want to say lipsticks. So yeah, if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on my favorite lip products, then let's go ahead and get started. I'm first going to start with my bullet lipsticks and then move on to liquid lipsticks. And then last, I will talk about all my favorite lip glosses for you guys. The first lipstick I want to talk to you about today is Smashbox and it is in the shade Audition. If you follow me on Instagram, you know how much I am obsessed with this lipstick. This is my third bullet tube of it. It is just a beautiful, perfect, mauve pinky color that literally goes with every single solitary look, outfit, it does not matter. This will match it and it is such a comfortable formula. It's like creamy, wears off really nicely. It's not drying on the lips at all. This retails for $21, but you guys, I'm telling you, it is so, so good. My next lipstick I wanna talk about is MAC and this is in the shade Brave. MAC is such an OG brand. It's been around forever. It's like one of the first high-end brands I ever tried. And this is such a beautiful shade. Look how much is left. <laughs> it's so teeny. It's just a little nub because I love it so much. This is probably, oh gosh, my like fourth or fifth tube of this. I've used this for years. It was just one of my favorites. It is a little bit more of a matte formula, but it's not drying. It's still comfortable on the lips and it wears off beautifully. I'm obsessed with this lipstick. These retail for $19, so a little bit cheaper too, but love this lipstick so much. Next, we have the absolutely iconic and cult classic Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Now, I know that Charlotte Tilbury has kind of overdone Pillow Talk a little bit. I feel like she has so many Pillow Talk products and collections of just straight Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk. But I'm telling you, it is a classic for a reason. I've been through almost a whole bullet of it. It is such a beautiful pink color. It, again, goes with anything you'd want to wear it with. It is a comfortable formula. You're gonna sense a theme. I have a lot of similar shades and a lot of the reasons why I love these lipsticks are that they're comfortable formulas. So I might be just repeating myself over and over again, I'm sorry. But this retails for $34, so it is pricey. It is pricey for a lipstick, I, I get it but and worth the money in my opinion. Um, right now though, Sephora has a mini set with a lipstick and the matching liner for 25. So if this is something you'd be interested in trying, they have that little mini set for you to try it out to see if you like it before you wanna invest in the full size. Next we have the Kylie Cosmetics Cream Formula and this is in the shade Creme Brulee. This is another one, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love this lipstick so much. It's a lot lighter than the rest of them. It's more nude on me when I wear it. Anytime I need a light pink shade, this is my go-to. I love this lipstick so much. Again, super comfortable formula. It's very creamy, it wears beautifully. I absolutely love it. And these retail for $17, so they're more on the affordable side. Sticking with the more affordable theme, we have ColourPop. Now, I have a little bone to pick with ColourPop. I love them. I think that they have great products for great, great quality and a great price. However, they release so many things that a lot of the times when I really, really love something, it's not available anymore after a couple months because they just can't keep in stock everything they release, which I understand, but then it's like annoying, you know? So the one that I love is called What's Your Sign. This was a collab with Kathleen Lights. 
and it is just a beautiful brown toned mauve shade that is my go-to nude if I don't want a pink shade. This is not available anymore which really stinks however I do have the shade Appy which is really really similar and it is still available. So this is What's Your Sign, and this is Appy. So you can see they're very, very similar. They are different, but they're very, they're similar enough that if you like What's Your Sign, Appy would suffice getting it instead. And this is still available. These retail for $8, so they're way more affordable than the other ones I have talked about. I love this formula. These, I highly recommend you picking up and trying these, and they have a ton of shades. Two more lipsticks left. The next one is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. I only have one of these. I have the shade Beatrice, but I love this formula. I definitely want to pick it up in more shades eventually. Again, these are like all more nudey lipsticks. I do have a couple pop of color lipsticks, but I just don't wear them very much. And I wanted to show you my faves. Can you sense the theme? I'm sure you can. It's a nudey pink shade that I just think is stunning and again this formula is so comfortable I love it these retail for $25 so they're kind of like definitely more on the higher end but not anything that's too too crazy and you Natasha Denona actually runs sales I feel like pretty often especially around the holidays so I bet you could pick this up on a sale and they have a ton of different shades so no matter your skin tone you're gonna find like a nude shade for you your lips your skin tone and all of that and I think that is great. For my last bullet lipstick, I'm sticking with something that's really affordable, easily accessible, and it is the Maybelline lip lipstick in the shade Baddest Beige. I actually got this because I heard Jaclyn Hill rave about this, oh gosh, like a year or two ago. This is a lot more sheer than the other lipsticks. A lot of times I like to use this as a topper or I'll either put a liner underneath and then this because it is more sheer, a little bit more glossy of a formula. But again, this shade is just stunning. It is comfortable. You can get Maybelline pretty much everywhere, Target, Ulta, Walmart. And these are only $7.99, which I think is a great deal. I love this lipstick. Because all of those were very similar in shades and tones, I wanted to go ahead, oh, well, that didn't work out as well as I thought it was going to, but I wanted to go ahead and just swatch all of them for you. This was the first one I talked about, Smashbox Audition, all the way to the last one I talked about. So you can tell that they're all different. They are all different tones, shades, but they're very similar. I definitely have a go-to a style of lipsticks that I love but yeah here are all them together for you the next category of lip products that I wanted to talk to you guys about is liquid lipsticks now I am not a huge liquid lipstick fan they can be very drying on my lips so I don't wear them super often but I do have three brands here that I think have done it right and these liquid lipsticks to me are really comfortable. They don't crack off. They're not super drying on my lips. And I definitely think that even if you're not a big liquid lipstick fan like me, these are the types of formulas that I think would work a lot better for a lot more people than normal liquid lipsticks, if that makes sense. I mean, they're normal liquid lipsticks, but I don't know. I just think these formulas are top notch. So the first brand I wanna to talk to you guys about is Pixie Beauty. These were actually all gifted to me by the brand but I really do want to pick up more shades in the future. I have three shades here. I'm going to swatch them all for you. The first one I wanted to show you is called Berry Beauty. That's an interesting swatch. We're just going to go with it though. It is a beautiful, rich, deep berry shade that is going to be absolutely perfect for fall time with like a simple eye and a dark berry lip. Oh, love it. The next shade is called Posh Nude, and this was a collaboration with Miriam McElidge. And this shade is such a beautiful, deep, nudie, brownie color. Oh, it is this nice and cool tone, if that's, you know, the vibe you're going for. It is stunning. And then my personal favorite of the three is this one, and it is called Coral Bang. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is such a bright 
orangey coral color but it's still wearable it's not like you have neon lips and you wear it and you're like oh my gosh what am i doing <laughs> i look ridiculous or it's not too orangey where you look like a pumpkin it's just such a beautiful bright like head turning color where you wear it and people are going to be like who's that girl with that bright bold lip looking all confident and hot this this will do it for you it honestly wears for a very long time the only time i notice where it comes off is the inner part of my lip and it's after i eat which makes sense a lot of times when you eat any lip products gonna come off these actually um retail for 14 dollars, which i feel like is a pretty good deal and this also has a ton of different shades. These are obviously not the only three shades that it comes in, but I highly, highly recommend these as well. The next brand is Cloven Hollow. I talked about this in my last video, so I'm not gonna harp on it too long. They retail for $19. This is in the shade Elegee. And again, it's just such a beautiful nude shade. It's comfortable, it doesn't wear off, it's not drying. I really, really love these liquid lipsticks. I cannot wait to get more shades in it. And then the last brand or type of liquid lipstick I wanted to talk to you guys about is Dose of Colors. I have two like bright red shades and two more nudie wearable shades, if that makes any sense. These retail for $18 and Ulta has Dose of Colors on sale a lot of the time, so I think you could get them on sale. This is the shade Kiss of Fire and it is just a beautiful bright red shade. I've worn this before and it is bright but stunning. This is Date Night. I got both of these in BoxyCharm. So it's a lot deeper of a red tone, more of a classic red shade. And I then have Bear With Me. I bought this one myself. And it is a beautiful nudie pink shade. Love it. And then the last shade I have is Warm and Fuzzy, which I like that name, Warm and Fuzzy. And it is a little bit deeper, more purpley pink than Bear With Me. But again, this formula is just really comfortable. Be careful. That like bright kiss of fire red definitely stains. So if you get that shade and you wear it on your lips, it gon' stain. Okay, the last lip product that I wanna talk to you guys about is glosses. And you know, I had to include these. You can't talk about glosses and your favorite glosses and the best glosses without mentioning the Fenty Gloss Bombs. They are absolutely amazing. They are thick, but not goopy and sticky they are so shiny so reflective they are comfortable they smell so good they're like nostalgic bring pop kind of of a scent i have three of them as you saw this one is fenty glow it was like the original one that came out i don't know if you're really going to be able to see it on there don't mind my now stained knuckle from the liquid lipstick and then i also have Fussy, which this is the first one I ever bought and I'm almost out of it. I need to rebuy it. It's just a little bit more of a pinky shade. And then the last one is Sweet Mouth. I feel like this might be my favorite of the three. I'm not sure. It's just a really light pink. You can barely see it there. It's just clear and glossy and just beautiful. Like these glosses are just so good. They're $19. They wear off nicely. They don't make your lips like too sparkly if that makes sense sometimes glosses can be like too sparkly and you're just like what and even the little bit of sparkle that's in them you can't feel like when you rub your lips together i just i can't i cannot rave about these lip glosses enough i really really think if you have not tried them you really should the next gloss i want to talk to you about is actually a sister brand to tarte this is sugar rush this is their lip sip vegan lip oil i didn't read that off my page because that's a long name this retails for 15 dollars, which i feel like is a really good price for it you guys this is the glossiest gloss i have ever used in my life when i put this gloss on any imperfection, any line, any chappedness, anything in my lips simply disappears. It just disappears. My lips look like glass. This is in the shade Fresh Pressed. I think they have three shades. This is going to be kind of hard for you to see on my um, hand. And it doesn't really look like anything special there. But I'm telling you, when I put this on my lips, 
It is so glossy, so shiny, so reflective, so comfortable. I, I cannot recommend this lip gloss more. And this legitimately, I know I said that the Fenty ones smell like ring pops. These smell like push pops, like from your childhood push pops. That's what these smell like. And it's just amazing. And I love this gloss so much. Chef's kiss. And then the last gloss formula I want to talk to you about is again, Dose of Colors, but instead of their liquid lips, they're glosses. These are absolutely amazing. These are way more opaque than the last four I talked about. The last four are more like shiny toppers, and these actually have some pigment to them and actually give your lips some color. So I have the shade Honey, I'm Home. Let me swatch this for you. It's like a really orangey butternut squashy kind of color which is weird to describe it like that but that's what it is i use this as a topper i don't really use this on its own and the other one i also use as a topper is called can you not these are both just super nude colors and i love to put them on top of lipsticks i actually have can you not on my lips right now on top of a lipstick and then i also have made you blush which this shade is gorgeous. It is the perfect mauve pink tone, beautiful shade that would go with a lot of looks, a lot of outfits. And the last one I have is on repeat. Again, this is a beautiful um, shade that actually looks very, very close to Made You Blush. But they're different, okay? I needed them both. I actually got these two. Um, I actually think I got almost all of these on sale. It's a, Dose of Colors is another brand that goes on sale at Ulta a lot and they have a lot of sales on their own website sometimes. But you can see these are super shiny, super reflective. These retail for $17, but again, you can get them on sale a lot of times. That was it, you guys. That was all the lip products I had to talk to you about. My favorite bullet lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, and lip glosses. Let me know down in the comments if you have tried any of these, if any of these are also your favorites. I have a feeling that that's the case because a lot of these are bomb that a lot of people love. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it if you made it to the end of this video. You are awesome and I love you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will hopefully will see you in my next video. Bye guys.